Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigerian news and now the news in details. Islamic group reveals dangerous plot to create the Dua Republic. An Islamic human rights organization, the Muslim Rights Concern Murik, has insisted that there is a connection between the Amor Teku Initiative and recent agitation for the establishment of Odudua Republic. The group therefore declared that Muslims in the region will never be part of the proposed Odudua Republic. It called on the governors in the region to be wary of the activities of irredentist elements who are exploiting the euphoria of the moment to achieve their selfish and parochial objectives. The group also warned that breaking away from the rest of Nigeria cannot in the best interest of the Yoruba. And this was contained in a press statement issued to Daily Post by the director of Morik Professor Ashak Akintola on Monday. It reads, while we are pleased to observe that it seems the authorities have taken note of our agitation to balance the appointment into a Amorteku by recruiting into all Keda from her religious group. Our suggestion of a change of name from Amorteku to Odudua Gaud it's yet to come to reality. That notwithstanding, the most pressing issue now is the call for the caving out, for the carving out of a Yoruba Republic out of present-day Nigeria. Moves being made include the circulation of fraudulent survey in Yoruba land, asking people to reply yes or no to the establishment of a Yoruba Republic. Anybody can guess what the result of such a survey coming from an unverified source can be. Another document which is also being circulated lists the capital of the proposed republic as Ibadan. However, those behind the high deal expose themselves as dreamers when apart from the six Yoruba states of Lagos, Ogun State, Oyo State, Ekiti State, Oshun State and Ondo State. They claimed that the geographical area of Odudua Republic includes Edo State, Kogi State, Kwara State, and Delta State. However, Ijo youth have predictably denounced the utopia. It is becoming glaring day by day that the Amorteku Initiative is leading to the formation of a Yoruba nation. The same group that agitated for the establishment of a Amorteku security outfit it's the same that is now clamoring for a sovereign Yoruba nation. It is no longer a smoke screen or a boju boju game. The masquerade has uncovered its face. Among the dangerous steps taken by the Yoruba separatist group, it is quite notice they gave to our Safulani residents in the region. Another cause for concern is the appointment of military retirees as head of the Amorteku security outfit in Yoruba state instead of using retired senior police officers. They portray, this portray a militant body language. It is not, not worthy that the chief allow Akala, a former governor of your state, has condemned the appointment of retired military men as heads of Amorteku in five of the six states and predicted that the initiative would fail. The fact that the appointment of retired senior military men who coincided with the beginning of the agitation for Anodua Republic speaks volumes. And besides, the agitation has already been taken to the United Nations. It is, however, heartwarming that some conscious Yoruba group have staged protests against their multiple security outfit. Equally disturbing is the fact that the proponent, the, that the proponent of the Amorteku and the Dua Republic are most eager to employ both fear and foul means to achieve their targets. This Michelvian disposition reveals the group's desperations to unleash anarchy. Their threat to assassinate the director of Murik exposes them as a group that will not stomach op opposition. Other foul methods adopted by the group include trailing and surveillance of the residences of those who oppose Amorteku, use of fake and non-existence existence, Islamic organization to the market, our organization, cyber war, killing Murik press statement, and sponsorship of column list, 
to disparage the organization and its director. But we remain undoubted. Our resolve to uphold justice, fair play and peaceful coexistence within a united and strong Nigeria is as solid as the rock of Gibraltar. The tout must get going when the going gets tougher. For us, it is no surrender, no retreat. A group that goes all out to do all the above cannot be trusted to lead the Yoruba people to Hey Dorado. Murik hereby declared that the silence of Muslims in the Yoruba state must not be mistaken for approval of successionist moves. Yoruba Muslims have, have no confidence in the irredentist, ir particularly because the latter have never been given fair treatment, whether in political appointment, employment, in the job market, or in, the, in matters of Allah given fundamental human rights. It is public knowledge that it is in Yoruba schools that Yoruba Muslim children are intimidated, harassed, humiliated over their civil rights, particularly the hijab question. So what is the guarantee that Muslims will not face worse discriminatory treatment, oppression and prosecutions in an Oduduwa Republic? It is on record that a prominent Yoruba politician, Femi Fani Kayode, threatened publicly that they know where to keep people like the dog director of Murik when Odudua is ready. Odudua Republic is therefore going to be slaughtered, slapped, and deadly trap for Yoruba Muslims. For the, for the home obtained time, we wish to clarify your position regarding the Yoruba security outfit, Amoteku, Morik is not opposed to a security initiative which we which we complement police efforts in curbing criminality in the youth's west, west. So we oppose is a system targeting Muslims and people of other tribes who reside in the region or marginalizing Muslims in recruitment into its unit. We also frown at all criminal propensity, including the activities of herdsmen who destroy farmlands, though we are aware that this is not limited to Yoruba land alone. We strongly condemn non-indigenous non in Yoruba land and other places who make crime their preoccupation and cause dissatisfaction between the Yoruba and law-abiding people of their tribes. In this regard, we call for stiff penalties for the suspected killers of Mrs. Funke Olakuri. Doctor of Chief Ruben Fashoriti, the Afeni Ferry leader who are currently facing trials once they are found guilty. We appeal to those behind the formations of Odudua Republic to let Nigeria be. We are stronger in any in a union. There is also no guarantee that the proposed republic will last if it will ever become a fate accompli. Yoruba Muslims will be the leading voice of opposition to the unholy Union imposed section. Next, the various tribal groups, principalities, and communities will suddenly wake up from their slumber and revive the old bitter rivalries. Will the Egba submit to Ijebu? Will the Modakeke Koko to the Ife? What of the Jesh Ijesha? Will they stand Akimbo? Why Iwo and Ede? go away with all the milk and honey from the Fatum Republic, it will be a den of jealous. Can Kokoros and this unity neighbor, disunited neighbors, we call on Yoruba governors to be wary of the activities of Kirill dentist elements who are exploiting the euphoria of the moment to achieve their selfish and parochial objectives. We have no reason to assume that the governors are part of the grand scheme. Our assumption is that all the governors are interested in is to secure the people of the region and their properties. Murik is fully in support of this kind of security arrangement. Wow. Hmm. So guys, what is your own take about what Murik said? He has said it. You know, Murik, a one-man Muslim organization that is headed by Professor Akiola, he has said it. He run and financed by those who are determined to propagate and bring religious militancies into South West. Then this now our brothers and sisters should be aware and they should be beware. They should be very careful. Southwest has never been home to religion crisis. 
Murik and his sponsors must look somewhere else. That is what I can say for now. So guys, what is your home take? What do you think about this news? Your comment is highly appreciated. And kindly drop your comment at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We'll say God bless you. If you're yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will be the first person to watch our latest news. God bless you once again. Always stay safe. Thank you. Bye.